Trump Week Plus, okay? Forgot to mention in our show that you were away for a couple of weeks and you just came back with a fresh report from Alabama. Yes, I did. So Tim and I are very interested in hearing what happened there. Went to Louisiana, too. And the Southern mentality is scary. It's scarier than the news that we hear. I asked about 50 people. Um, out of that 50 people, only two people said they don't watch news, they don't care, they don't want to know. It's all a bunch of junk, is what they would say. Of course, they used more colorful words. But everyone else, I would ask them, uh, how, what do you feel about Trump? They love him. They think he is, you know, um, the best thing ever, best president they've ever seen, most all of them. Um, then there was, I would ask them if they would vote for him again. Oh, yes, absolutely. And they're going to make all their family vote for him, too, which I thought, oh, my gosh. So then I asked them what news they watch. Um, and they said everything is fake news except Fox News. They only watch Fox News because that is the only real news that, that is there at all. Um, I'm happy to report my children don't feel this way. <laughs> and my in-laws don't feel this way either. Uh, they're very much against Trump and they see the truth of who he is. So when I knew that the Mueller um, hearing was going to be coming out, the testimony was going to be coming out, um, I asked people if they were going to watch it. And they said, no, they're not going to watch it. Why bother? They can just watch the news. And I know they only watch Fox News. And Fox News will tell them everything that they need to know about it anyway. Uh, uh. So they don't. And, and I asked them if they've read the report. I said, well, then have you read the report yourselves? Oh, no. Uh, we don't have to do that. That's for that big, long thing. I can't understand it anyway. And that was the thing that really got me is they're being told so many times that they won't be able to understand it, that they think they can't understand it. So they just let Fox News tell them everything that they need to know. Mm. What about the border? You asked people about the border and the kids in the camps. Oh my gosh, this was the one that got me the most. This one, I, and I'm glad after a while I started asking that as the last question because it just made me, like you were getting sick a little while ago, made me literally sick to my stomach. When I asked them how they felt about what was going on at the border with the kids being separated from their parents and all I heard was they deserve it. They get what they deserve. The they deserve shouldn't it. have come. They shouldn't have come in the first place. And I said, even the children? What about the children? Well, their parents brought them here, so they get what they deserve. Okay, rem <sighs> remind me never to go to Alabama or Louisiana again. Tim, what do you think? I got to say that there are, there are people in Alabama, there are Republicans in Alabama that are not party of the, the party of Trump. There are still Republicans in Alabama and Georgia that are waiting for a candidate a Democratic candidate, they can at least throw their vote behind because they don't want to vote for Trump again. What about Weld? They could vote for Weld. Okay, they're waiting. <laughs> they're waiting for someone else to vote for because right. because they have a conscience, because mm -hmm. they have an ethical compass and a moral compass, and they're waiting for some other candidate that they can throw their vote behind, and I think they will. Now, I don't know how many that is, but well, I just well, didn't read any, up. and I was surprised at some of the younger people. Um, in their mid-20s and early 30s yeah. are so behind Trump because they were the people that I thought being, you know, media savvy, they would, they would know better. They would at least see some exposure to other things. All of them said the same thing. Well, the, the two that said they don't care, they don't watch anything, they were mid-20s. Mm -hmm. But most of the people that I, that I questioned were between 30 and, and probably 60. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not optimistic. No. Okay. Well, thank you, Cynthia. It's better to have you back. I'm so you glad to be back. time there. Yeah. But thanks, for, thanks for coming back. I, I thought if I lived here now, I'd go to jail because I'd end up, I'd end up shooting somebody. No, I take that back. I'd end up punching somebody. Though. <laughs> yeah. Cheer up. Yeah. Cheer up. There's now a death penalty. <laughs> Tim, your final comments? My final comment is, um, as every week, there's, it's a, it's a, Fire hydrant of political information, mm -hmm. outrageous information, and I'm just going to rest up until next week. Yeah, and take it all in. Let's all rest up, but let's keep aware. Let's keep informed. Yes. Thank you, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, Cynthia. You're welcome. Oh, Thank oh, you. Wow.